Hello, welcome to the second episode of our series of Introduction to Graph Databases. My name is Ryan Boyd, and I'm on the Developer Relations team here at Neo4j. In this episode, we'll discuss the properties of graph databases and what makes them special and different from relational databases and other NoSQL databases. Next, we'll discuss the use cases which benefit greatly due to these properties. There are three goals that developers are looking to meet when they evaluate databases. The first is intuitiveness, the second is speed, and the third is agility. For intuitiveness, intuitiveness means a way to create and maintain your data in a logical fashion. It means lessening the translation friction, not just translation from code into database calls, but also translation between the business folks describing the application requirements and the developers satisfying those requirements. Less translation equals more productivity. With graph databases, the whiteboard model is the physical model. What you draw on the whiteboard to sketch out your data model is represented on disk in the exact same way. Speed. It's about speed of development, which you naturally get because it's more intuitive. It's also about the speed of execution and how quickly you can deliver results to your application to enable real-time decisions. eBay was able to code their application, which made decisions thousands of times faster than with their previous MySQL solution. This powers the real-time delivery of products into customers' hands. And eBay isn't alone with this. Many of our customers use us primarily because of the performance advantages we can give them. Business logic that was impossible to do before is now possible. Processes that were performed in batch are now able to be performed in real time. Agility. Agility is the third property that developers evaluate when looking at databases. Agility is another measure of speed. How easily and quickly can your code adapt to the changing business? With Neo4j, we provide a naturally adaptive, schema-optional data model. You can put some constraints in as a way to maintain the integrity of your data, but you also have the flexibility to add and remove data on the fly. Need new nodes or relationships? You just create them. Need to store more properties on existing nodes or relationships? Just add them. It's as easy as that. No more schema migrations keeping you up at night. We also have a query language that is designed for connectedness. Cypher is a declarative query language similar to SQL that's optimized for graphs. It's recently been opened up as a standard graph query language via the OpenCypher project with support from industry leaders like Oracle, Tableau, and Databricks, the company behind Apache Spark. With Cypher, it's a lot easier to write your code in a lot less lines. Here's an example of a real SQL query provided by a customer. Prior to using Neo4j, they ran this query to understand their organization. They had to hard code the depth of the organization into this query as a series of union statements. When they converted these hundreds of lines of SQL into Cypher, they were able to do it with only a handful of lines of Cypher. Now, I'm not going to claim that this is the most optimized SQL query, but it's the type that customers are writing in the real world. So Cypher enables less time writing queries, giving you more time to understand the answers and leaving time to ask the next question. Cypher also allows you to spend less time debugging queries, which means more time writing the next piece of code and improved quality of the overall code base. Cypher also allows you to write code that is easier to read. This means faster ramp up time for new project members and improved maintainability and troubleshooting. Now let's talk about the use cases of graph databases. Many people think about graph databases and they think they're used primarily as social networks. This is not true. 
In fact, graph databases are an antibiotic for many use cases across a wide variety of industries. They enable business processes that were once performed in batch to be performed in real time, allowing your business to make faster decisions with more accurate data. Real-time recommendations. This is a pretty broad category. Many top retailers use Neo4j for real-time recommendations, enabling more relevant products to be surfaced to the user. We want to take into account other products which customers have viewed and bought, but a high-quality recommendation system will also take into account much more data from your business. Say it's the holiday season. We want to look at the logistics system to ensure that we only recommend products which are able to be delivered before the holiday. Or perhaps the customer always buys off-brand products. We might want to transition them into buying more profitable name-brand ones, which have been successful at transitioning other customers into higher-end products. But we probably don't want to recommend the Ferrari. Now we want to take into account customer service history returns and reviews for our recommendations. If a customer has regularly complained about or returned a particular brand of product, let's recommend a competing brand. As you can see, the data which feeds into recommendations is limitless. And with graph databases, we can do this in an intuitive, fast, and agile way. Walmart is one example of our customers using Neo4j to power real-time recommendations. We also have many other world-class retailers using Neo4j as well. Master data management. This is about bringing together all of the entities within an organization and external to the organization to understand the relationship between each of them. This oftentimes includes employees, customers, products, orders, and more. Cisco uses us for this, to power their content management resources and knowledge base articles for use by their sales teams. It also powers product recommendations to make sure customers are getting the power of the Cisco offerings. Although this project is focused on sales teams, another group has used Neo4j to power all of their help desk content. This is Cisco's help desk solution. Neo4j is used to recommend knowledge base articles and other materials based on everything the company knows about the customer. This enables them to reduce costs and improve customer satisfaction by providing self-service capabilities. When a case isn't solved through self-service and it gets escalated to help desk personnel, they also are going to spend less time finding the solution. Fraud. Discovering fraud is another use case that is particularly suitable to graphs. Many more simplistic fraud detection approaches use only discrete data analysis. However, experts such as Gartner recommend a layered approach, using both discrete and connected analysis to detect the most organized fraud rings. With most traditional fraud detection technologies, connected analysis is very difficult to model and carry out and even then can only be done after the fact. It's almost impossible to do it in real time. Neo4j, with the speed of traversing relationships natively as a graph through index-free adjacency, allows you to do this connected analysis for fraud in real time, catching it before a transaction is approved or a product is shipped. For this use case, we work with top banks, insurance companies, as well as many governments. Additionally, Neo4j's fraud detection capabilities are used by gaming companies to detect fraud in microcurrency transactions. While many companies are understandably wary about going on record with the details of fraud detection systems, security experts such as Gorka Sadowski have talked about the value of graph databases to uncover fraud rings and other sophisticated scams with a high level of accuracy in real time. Graph-based search. Neo4j originated from a graph-based search challenge which the founders had back in the year 2000. They were building a content management system, trying to recommend photos based not only on the entered search terms, but on related terms. Imagine you're searching for animals. 
You want to see all images tagged with animal, but you also want to see all images tagged with mammal, fish, or dog. This will give you better search results, resulting in increased engagement with the platform. The language used to describe objects in the real world is best represented as a graph. When trying to represent this graph in a relational database, the founders encountered performance problems and started building the first Neo4j prototype. Lufthansa is one of our customers using Neo4j for graph-based search. Their custom-tailored asset management application powers their in-flight entertainment system. Network and IT operations. Graphs, more generically, are networks. So it's only natural that computer networks and IT operations are powered with Neo4j. You have a bunch of interconnected devices in the real world, so you're much better representing these as graphs versus a handful of columns and rows. Graphs make it easy to perform operations like dependency analysis. If I'm going to take a database debt server down for maintenance, which applications and end users will be impacted? The system allows proactive notification of customers and users, setting the right expectations and improving productivity. Root cause analysis is also a simple graph problem. A bunch of services are down, but we haven't yet discovered what caused the outage. So we want to know what dependencies each of these services have in common. This leads to faster resolution of unexpected issues. The team at Lending Club developed an open source IT operations platform called MacGyver for their leading edge microservices architecture. You can find it on GitHub. Identity and access management. Traditionally, a lot of identity and access management is automated through technologies like LDAP, which have a strict tree representation of an organization. The real world isn't really a tree, though. It's a graph. A person at a university could be a student, faculty member, and staff member. You don't want to have to decide which OU to put them in, or to have to create multiple accounts for the same person. One of our customers had such a large hierarchy of groups within their organization, groups within groups within groups within groups, that they had to move their authorization decisions for resources into a batch process. But when a user moves into a new role, you don't want to have to wait 12 hours for new privileges to be granted or old privileges to be revoked. That's just inefficient. Migrating to Neo4j allows them to perform those operations in real time. UBS, a global financial services firm, was the recipient of the 2014 Graphy Award for Best Identity and Access Management App. As you've seen, Neo4j is used across a wide variety of use cases due to the intuitiveness, speed, and agility that native graph databases provide for our customers. And these customers are in a huge variety of verticals, from software to healthcare and everything in between. Now that's your quick intro to Neo4j and the second episode of this series, covering the advantages of graph databases across a variety of use cases and verticals. I'd encourage you to think about how these advantages apply to your own organization. In the next video in the series, we'll cover the property graph data model and how you can get started designing the graph of your world. Thanks and enjoy the rest of your day.